I'm gonna be installing a brand new jack on this trailer. Keep watching the video. Welcome back, it's Jeff Lepard from DoItAllSealing.com and on this channel we do driveway sealing, concrete repair, asphalt paving and so much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I'm going to be installing this brand new Butler Jack onto this home trailer. You can see it previously had a jack but the plate broke off from the jack, it detached itself. So I'm gonna be installing a brand new one. So in order for me to install that, I'm gonna to have to weld it, but I can't weld it yet because I have to remove the old plate first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind down the old plate, all the welds to separate that from the trailer, remove that, uh, grind that down, sand that down uh, to get it down to bare metal so that I can weld the new jack onto the trailer. So first thing I do is grab my grinder and I'm gonna start grinding. Now with the old plate removed, I'm gonna be installing the new jack just about three to four inches over. So what I wanna do is clean down this rusty metal so that I have a good bond for the welding that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna clean this entire area before welding. Now that the metal is grinded down, I'm just gonna use this 60 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna go over the metal just to get any imperfections to smooth out the metal a little bit uh, more. So before welding, I want to have the correct position because I won't be able to change it after. So I just have the jack up in place, keeping in mind that when this turns, I want this to have clearance and I also want to be able to have free motion of the handle. If it's over here, I can't, it's going to be too hard to crank the, uh, the jack. So I want to have enough clearance that it's going to be it's okay for the, uh, the feet, the foot, and the clearance for the handle. So this seems to be uh, about the right place. So this is where I'm going to install it. So first thing I wanna do is I just wanna get some tack coat down uh, to get the uh, a little uh, tack weld to hold the jack in place, and then I'll continue welding the rest. So now I have it in place. Now I'm going to continue welding along the top and the sides. Now that the welding is complete, uh, as you can see, and I'm not a welder by trade, this is just a basic weld and it will hold the jack to the trailer and uh, that's good enough. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this primer and I'm gonna prime this section. Of course, we have bare metal, so we don't want that to rust. So I'm just gonna use this primer and I'm just gonna spray the areas that uh, were sanded down and followed by some paint. Now that the primer has dried, I'm just gonna use some black uh, enamel paint and I'm just gonna paint this area. Later on, I'll be painting this trailer, so I'm not really concerned about matching the color right now. I'm just gonna use black for now.
And now the jack is now complete and it's able to move freely back and forth. So that's it. I just wanna thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bash that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos, share the video, like the video, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time on the next video. Jeff Lepard, doitallseenly.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.